Good afternoon, everybody. JARC02. Uh, after going through my cases um, in the video where I took a look and compared my red line cases, uh, I used some of them for storage and I decided to pull out all my red line cars and divide them up by year that they were released by Hot Wheels. Um, this way I could tell what I have, what I don't have. I'm not so much concerned about individual color. Uh, I do have some duplicates um, because I picked them up because I liked them or I thought the price was right. I am missing a few that I know I have someplace. They're either um, misplaced or they came with a set. And I left them with the set. I only pulled out my loose cars. Uh, I'll go over which ones were uh, mine as a kid. And then uh, we'll go from there. Now, I don't have values for these. I'll leave it up to you to determine the value or look it up. Uh, I'm not going to go through that. Uh, I'm only showing things that I picked up because I liked them or I had them as a kid. Um, starting with the 1968 uh, first release of Hot Wheels, so these are now 50 years old. I have the Beatnik Bandit. I have the Custom Camaro. Custom Firebird. I have three Custom fleet sides. Going back to the Beatnik Bandit, that's the eBay purchase. These three and this one were purchased at the convention back in October 2018. This one here, this orange, is an eBay purchase. I have the Custom VW. That is an eBay purchase. I have the Ford J car. Hot Heap. I believe these are the same color, just the interiors are different. So there's the variation. I have the green Python. And I have one that was copper. Uh, looks like it was originally copper. It's in uh, really rough shape, but it does roll. And I do have some buttons with some of these. And here I have the Silhouette. They're eBay purchases. Um, everything here is an eBay purchase unless I note it otherwise. So 1968, I didn't have any original 1968 cars. Uh, I was only two years old, so I don't think my mother was buying me um, miniature cars uh, for a two-year-old. For 1969, I have the 31 Ford uh, Woody, I think it was. I think it was the 31 Ford Woody. This classic Ford Woody. Classic 40, 31 Ford Woody, I think it was. Here we have the classic... Uh, I can't tell. Classic 36 Ford Coupe. These have rumble seats and they open. Here we have the classic 57 T-Bird. That's a nice one. I like that color. You can tell the color shines in the, in the sunlight that's coming through the back door. That really looks cool. I have the custom AMX. Uh, this is the custom cruiser in the fireman livery. The Maserati Mistral. It was an eBay purchase, and I remember getting this specifically because the person wrapped it up so good it was such a hassle to get it out of the bubble wrap. This was mine as a child. This was uh, 
the Mercedes-Benz 380 SE, I'm sorry, 280 SEL. I used to love this car for some reason. So I used to play with it in the dirt. But for some reason, I really love this car. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, why didn't you take care of your Hot Wheels? Because they're all beat up. No, uh, I did take care of my Hot Wheels. Uh, but they were toys. I enjoyed them. I played with them in the dirt. Uh, here we have the Silver Shadow Rolls-Royce, or the Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. Purchased that at the convention. Here we have the Turbo Fire. Here we have two colors, so we have sort of like a, a red and a yellow. And here we have... I keep forgetting the name of this one. Tur uh, Tureo. Uh, I think I got this one at the convention. And here we have the Beach Bomb, Volkswagen Beach Bomb. And this came with stickers separate and the button separate. They were never put on. The button was never used. Uh, unless otherwise noted, uh, they all came from eBay. I did not uh, have Hot Wheels or original Hot Wheels from the 1969 era either. This one here is the 1969 uh, year as well. This is the Grand Prix cars that they started to come out with in 1969. Um, all of these were eBay purchases. This is the Indy Eagle. I have two examples, blue and red. I have a button and stickers that came with uh, separately, one with each. This here uh, has a broken wing, but it's a Chaparral 2. Uh, what the heck was this one called? This one was called the Brabham Repco. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Indy Eagle. This is the Brabham Repco. That button goes there. I'm sorry. Brabham Repco. These two. Chaparral. Indy Eagle. Two Indy Eagles. I'm sorry, I got you guys confused there. Uh, this is the Ford Mark IV. Uh, one example. This is the Lola. I believe. Yeah, I think that's the Lola. This is the Lotus Turbine, and this is the Shelby Turbine, and this is the McLaren. All right. uh, they're all eBay purchases. All right, so that's the end of 1969. 1969, they came out with the Grand Prix cars as well as the regular new models, okay? 1960, I'm sorry, that was 69. So 1970, they released a couple new uh, Grand Prix cars. I have one of them, and this was purchased at the convention, and this is the Porsche 917. Okay, so that... I just got at the convention. They also had the club cars. They had three of them. Uh, out of the club cars, I have the heavy Chevy. In 1970, they also came out with the heavyweights. Two examples of the ambulance. That one is an eBay. This one here I purchased at the convention. The dump truck I purchased at the convention. Uh, 
these three cars right here uh, are all the fire trucks. Um, these are all eBay purchases. Uh, variation in the uh, interior. We have white and we have the black. We have two. Uh, plus, I got a button for one of them. Uh, two vans, moving vans. This one was the convention. This one was mine as a child. So I purchased this at the convention because I, this is the white um, trailer for the moving van, and I always had the dark gray. And then I have three tow trucks. Uh, two of them are the same color. Um, one of them is sort of like an aqua or a purple. I can't tell right now. I think it's aqua. I think that's aqua. And then blue. I have two that are blue. Those are all eBay purchases. So this is a convention purchase, convention, convention, convention. Um, so it wasn't until the 1970s that I received uh, cars that I recall, okay? And because I have this one as an original as a child. All right, 1971. We have the Custom Carabo. We have the Custom or Classic Nomad. I have three versions. These were all eBay purchases. Mod Quad was an eBay purchase. The Paddy Wagon. And this one has the glass in the front. Um, here we have Peep and Bomb. That was a convention purchase. We have Power Pad. I have three of them. This is slightly different colors. Like one is apple green, the other one is yellow. I have two different buttons, a plastic and a metal. And here's another Power Pad Magenta. Um, eBay purchases for those. This is an eBay purchase. This is the Sand Crab. Um, I'm pretty sure somewhere I have a nicer one than this. I don't know. It's been misplaced. Uh, here's the Seasider. And I have three different Tri Babies. Um, this is a convention purchase. Uh, this one is eBay, and this one I purchased at the um, my club meeting. Okay. So for the 1971 year, I don't have any original cars from the main series release. Uh, 68, 69, 70, 70, 68, 69, that's 70. Okay, so 70. The, I'm sorry, these are still 70. 70 cores, okay? This whole line is 70. So these all came out with these. So again, I apologize. I do have this one from 1970. Um, these were all purchased separately. Also in 1970 were the spoilers. Here we have the heavy Chevy. Light my Firebird. King Cuda and another King Cuda which I purchased at the convention. The first three cars I showed were from uh, eBay purchases. So those were 1970. 1971 custom AMX I'm sorry is the AMX2 Bug Eye that was mine as a child. Bifocal convention purchase Cockney Cab was a um, mine as a child. Harry Hauler was a convention purchase. The Hood, I have two different examples, yellow and magenta, eBay purchases. 
uh, what was this one again? I forget the name. Uh, Jet Threat. The original Jet Threat. Uh, eBay purchase. Short order, eBay purchase. Uh, six Shooter. This was mine as a kid. Six Shooter, mine as a kid. I like that car a lot too. And here is um, something, special delivery. This one here was mine as a child. And this one here is in better condition. I purchased this just to have one in better condition. That was an eBay purchase. And here we have, as soon as I stop dropping them, what for? I think is the name of this one, what for? And that's what I want to know. It's not an attractive car to me, but uh, I got it at a good price. Or else I wouldn't have bought it. Or I thought I got a good price for it. All right. Um, again, those are 71 cars. Also in 1971, there was the Mongoose 2, the Snake 2, Evil Weevil. I have three examples. These first two I got at the same time, 6 and 7. I bought them because they were consecutive numbers. I remember getting these at the store and looking at them and picking them off the peg hook. Um, Evil Weevil was an eBay purchase, and this was a convention purchase. This is the um, <clears throat> Eldorado, or based on the Eldorado. What were they calling this one? Sugar Caddy. Um, they're spoilers, okay? Uh, they're the spoilers released for 1971. 1972... This was mine as a kid, and this is Open Fire. This I purchased on eBay, another Open Fire, because I like the color. 1973, we start to get into the enamel colors. They changed the name of the Classic Nomad to a Live 55. This is based on the Jackrabbit Special, and they changed the name to Sandwich. This is based on the Tri-Baby, and they now call this one Buzz Off. Um, that was, like, hot pink. Um, this is the Ferrari. Um, this does have a busted, cracked wheel, so the wheel will fall off if I roll it. I don't want to lose the wheel. Ferrari. 312p and this is another card that I really liked and you could see where I used to have stickers on it they kind of faded came off and again uh, this is one of the cars I really liked as a kid because I would play with it hard in the dirt not trying to ruin it it's just because I played with it hard that's what kids do um, and this is show off and that's based off the bifocal, okay? Doesn't have the uh, opening plastic translucent hood. All right, um, that is it for not all the red lines, but the next series of red lines are going to be um, starting with the flying colors era. All right, and they'll go through 1977. All right, so they'll go from 74 to 77. Here we covered up to uh, 1973. All right, so um, that's it um, for this. Any questions, any comments? Again, um, I know we've taken a look at my original cars and some of my collection before, but not in the order in which they were released. So um, I just wanted to see what I had. <laughs> And um, if I wanted to continue, you know, adding to the collection, I mean, it's not a big deal to me to get the original, um, all the original 16. If I do, great. If I don't, you know, um, I'm not going to concern myself. Um, the classic um, 31 Vicky, 
you can see one has a smooth textured roof and the other one has a rough textured roof. Um, one is copper, the other one is yellow or green. Um, so there's some variation there. Um, I'm debating about whether or not I ever want to pick up um, a repro wing for this. Um, there's not going to be any way I can repair this. I have one of the, uh, the legs for it. Um, but in any event, um, that's it. Questions, comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you like the video and you have not subscribed, at the end, the upper left-hand corner, you can subscribe. Uh, also, I'll leave some links to some other videos that you might like in the meantime, uh, if you want to view more. So uh, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a good week.